All right, everybody, welcome to the next video for a normal landing. We're in the pattern here. I'm going to make a radio call. More traffic, 2 3 and a 4. I'm right down on runway 4. All right, and I'm going to do my car peak since I'm in that realm. Now, we're doing a normal takeoff now, or rather, a normal landing. Okay, I'm just setting up on a downwind here. Got my car peak, gas is on both. Undercarriage is down and locked, it's fixed gear. Mixture is full rich. Prop is full forward if we had one. Seat belts and switches, good. All right, so I've got 2,000 RPM is where I wanna be. I've got one notch of flaps. And I should be set up perfect for this downwind, okay? I'm just paralleling the runway keeping a nice distance. I don't want you to do a cross-country pattern here. And I'm going to be about 80 miles per hour, which is perfect. Okay, one notch of flaps, 2,000 RPM, I'm at 80 miles per hour. This is getting rid of energy to come down and land at a location on the runway. I'm going to try to hit the touchdown markers. And it should be pretty much hands-off, okay? If you trim things correctly, you really shouldn't have to do much. I want you to Learn how to trim, okay? Learn how to trim because it really makes your job easy as a pilot. So I'm going to be coming up here on base. I'm looking for traffic quite a bit. I want to be really careful with that. And I should turn in my base at about a 45. Homer traffic, two, three, and a four. I'm right base, run my four, Homer. As I do that, I'm drawing back a lot of power. You'll notice that I didn't draw back power until this base leg. That's how I do it. I stay a little higher for gliding distance. Some people reduce their power of being their touchdown point. Just depends what you're into, all right? So I'll reduce my power. I'm gonna do my next notch of flaps because I feel a little high. I didn't draw that power back as fast as I should have. But now I'm going to feel out where I'm at. You can see the runway here and you need to get used to feeling your energy out. See where you're at. I'm checking my final. Make sure there's no one out there. Okay, and I'm retrimming. Homer traffic, two, three, and a four, and final runway four, Homer. And anticipating that turn in, staying nice and coordinated, even if I overshoot, just stay nice and coordinated the whole time. All right, so now our main flight control is our power. Just next notch of flaps, I'm set up on final. I'm looking at my target, it's the part of the runway that is not moving, okay? I've trimmed the airplane, it's at a great speed, if I need to move that target ahead a little bit, I'll just add a little bit of power. You're not even gonna be able to hear it. You'll hardly be able to see it, but I'm just gonna move that point down the runway just a little bit. Need just a little bit more power for airspeed here. That feels good. I'm gonna take that power out. Nice and stable, okay? Always nice and stable. And I'm looking at that point just before my touchdown marker. Start to draw up that power. I've got plenty of energy. Bringing it down, getting rid of the last bits of energy in the airplane, flaring, and touching down nice and softly. But you don't have to touch down softly, okay? It's okay if you plant the wheels a little bit. We're just getting rid of that last little bit of energy as we touch down on the runway, okay? So that is a normal landing. I'm gonna come to a stop here then show you a short build landing. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.